Hi there and welcome to the Dawn Show, Dawn Stens Lamenti. So today, investing and then later in the show, you're going to love it, celebrity, uh, all, talking about celebrities and of course, drug addictions. But first we want to talk about saving you money and saving up for retirement especially. My first guest, Brendan McGee, president and founder of Inevitable Wealth Coaching. Welcome. I know you go by Coach Gee. Coach Gee. By, yeah. by some of your uh, <laughs> fans who you've helped financially. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Fortunately, no snow today. Yeah, no snow. We're, we're, we're riding these waves of all these storms. This is true. So this thanks true. for making it in today. So we want to, you know, this is, these are intimidating times. Mm -hmm. um, and, it's, and it's serious because it's something that people are right now, maybe because of joblessness and right. the economy, they're cutting back on saving up for their kid's college mm -hmm. or saving up for their nest mm -hmm. egg. And then they look at the stock market and it's terrifying. I think when you look at this, the stock market, the, the fear factor comes in from the media. It's mm -hmm. like there's a saying, if it bleeds, it leads. And let's pounce on top of it. Like, oh my God, the market's down 300 points. What are we going to do? It's the end of capitalism as we know it. I don't know that today's any less scary than it was, say, 40, 50 years ago. Take the Cuban Missile Crisis. We're this close from nuclear annihilation. How much? It's not that bad right now. So. But there is sort of a savings crisis going on. No, no doubt that there is. And that's something we want to talk about today. 56% um, of employees out there have saved less than $25,000 for retirement. Now you're and talking total, even in their total. 401k. 401k, IRA. You know, the president in his State of the Union address came out with a proposal for, the, for a MIRA. And the politics aside, uh, some people like the president, some people don't, but um, again, $25,000 saved for retirement points to a real crisis in, in how prepared people are for their retirement. They're, so if they they're, wanna, they're really not. So if they want to go to forty grand to save for that, what right. would that take? Well, let's take a look at it, for example. Um, for $40,000, let's say you're planning on a 30-year retirement, you need $746,000. That's if you're going to leave this earth with nothing, just nothing. I'm, I'm at, at the last, my last second on this earth, I'm leaving this world with absolutely nothing. Nothing's going to go to my kids, nothing. So, Which I have relatives who've said that, that that's the way to go. <laughs> you're not getting anything. <laughs> <laughs> you're not getting anything, but I'm living right, a good life. Right. So again, 25000 versus 746000 huge, huge you know, discrepancy there. And, and that's just $40,000. What if you plan on having an $80,000 retirement? What if you plan on having $100,000? What's, what's your lifestyle going to cost you? So the first thing is a, is a coach, as a financial coach that you say is, you know, start with coffee money. Keep it simple and do this weekly and be disciplined. Well, more than anything, and you went to the earlier, you talked about fear. I think where people have the biggest amount of fear is where they feel like there's no, they don't have any, any control. So as a coach, you try to like to put the control back into the investor's hands, and it's behavior driven. What is it that I do? What is it that I don't do? What do I allow? What do I not allow? And for the sake of argument, um, Starbucks. The average person goes to Starbucks like four times, four times uh, a, month. a month, and it's twenty-three dollars and thirty-seven cents per month. Two hundred eighty dollars per year spent on just Starbucks. So what if you went to Starbucks, say, once a week? What if you want? What if you bought your, your you made your coffee at home and you took the difference and you started you brew investing. your lock alone locally made Whatever. coffee at home, save the money. But what you're saying is put that in the pot. You ha yeah, you have to start somewhere, and you know that that Starbucks money. It's kind of like if I was going to run a marathon. Well, tomorrow I wouldn't run out and run 26 miles. I'd have a heart attack. So I'm not as you wouldn't necessarily tell tell somebody you got to put away ten thousand dollars a month. They'd have a heart attack too. Um, so let's start small and build from there. And it's like anything, you start all small, you'll be surprised how much more you can actually do. So let's take somebody who makes, what, $30,000 a year and they want to put away. Yeah, away. and, and this, is, this is the, uh, the thing is that it doesn't take a lot to, to make a lot. We have this thing called compounding of interest in our lives. It's like the eighth wonder of the world. So if I took, say, uh, $30,000, and I said, okay, 10% is what I'm going to set aside over 26 pays or 52 pays or whatnot. That's $3,000 per year over a 40-year 
period of time at 5%, I'm up to $380,000. At 7%, I'm at $640,000. And at 10%, I'm $1.4 million. I have a nest egg, so I've doubled what I needed to come up with that $40,000 mark. So again, it doesn't take a lot to make a lot. And, and again, the control comes back to the investor. What is it that I do? What is it I don't do? If I do the saving and I take advantage of the compounding, compounding of interest over the long haul, I'm going to be much better off than if I didn't. And what was all that, all those numbers on their investor coacher series? And it was a lot of percentages and so on and so forth. Those were the annualized rate of return. And now if okay. we come up here, so I said 5%, 7%, 10%. What I'm showing you here is these are the comp annual, long-term annualized rates of return for the capital markets that are out there. For example, U.S. microcap stocks from 1927 through 2012, annualized rate of return, 12.26%. S&P is U.S. large company stocks, 9.82%, small cap value, 14.77%. So in other words, your point here when you look at this is if, if you diversify but you invest in the stock market over a period of years, it's not going to go down. My dad always used to say, if you believe in America and you believe that we're going to, you know, right. we're going to survive well, long term. What I guess I wanted to show people is, you know, the 5%, 7%, and 10% number I put up there, right. that's not totally unrealistic. It's very realistic. Now, those rates of return I showed, there's, those are market rates of return. There is, uh, there's potential to lose. You're going right. to absorb some volatility. You should have a coach to help you diversify properly. The rules for successful investing, they're, they're pretty simple. Own equities, diversify, buy low, sell high. If I do those, th those things over the long haul, I'm going to be pretty well off, and history bears that out. Well, there's so much to talk about, and, and I know that I'd love to pick your brains. We're going to have you back to talk about more. <laughs> but in the meantime, you actually have some coaching series that we want to share with people yes. so that they could go to, to one of your seminars or your yeah, coaching we, seminars. We do investor coaching sessions, and there's one coming up February 25th quite locally to where we're filming today. It's at the Eastgate Center in uh, Mount Laurel, New Jersey, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. We have food. It's usually something good, um, <laughs> something fattening. Uh, so again, this one is, um, have you discovered your true purpose for money? And when we talk about that, most people, when they talk about their investments, they talk about goals. Well, we're in the Olympics right now. When a person wins the gold medal, that's what they're after. When they're up on that podium and they're playing the national anthem, they're not experiencing gold medal. It's joy, it's passion, whatever. But when you want to go for the gold, you need a good coach. So you better Brandon have a good coach. at coachgee.com, and there's the information. We're going to have you back because there's so much to talk about. But Can't thank wait. you so much. Thank you, Dawn. Have a good one. And coming up, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk about celebrities. We're going to talk about music. We're going to talk about Bruce Springsteen. But we're going to get serious, too, and talk about uh, celebrities and drug addictions when we come right back. <laughs>